This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network, reporting from the annual meeting of the California chapter of the American College of Emergency Physicians in San Diego. Dr. Ben Bobro discussed strategies to improve regionalized cardiac arrest care. One of the messages in your talk was the importance of communities tracking their out-of-hospital cardiac arrest outcomes. What steps can communities take to achieve this? So it used to be for a long time that uh, most communities didn't even track their out-of-hospital cardiac arrest incidents and outcomes. And so it's certainly really difficult to improve care in something that you don't even track. And now uh, communities all over the country are actually accurately tracking uh, cardiac arrest, um, many of them with their own system. And now there's even a national uh, system called CARES, which is the Cardiac Arrest Registry to Enhance Survival, the CDC uh, cardiac arrest tracking tool. And um, that's been invaluable for communities all over the country to, to begin to look at cardiac arrest incidents and strategies to improve survival. So one of the things that is really has a profound impact on survival from cardiac arrest is the bystander uh, component. So if bystanders are willing and able to do two things, one is to uh, call 911 and then is to uh, do by some form of bystander CPR, that has a huge impact on survival, uh, tripling, maybe even quadrupling of survival uh, if done really well. And uh, what we did in Arizona was we actually had a message that the public was trained to do uh, hands-only CPR for adults who had a sudden witness collapse. And um, over the last five years, we tracked that, and we were able to show that the community uh, response significantly improved, and that one intervention uh, had a dramatic improvement on survival from cardiac arrest. And so one of the things we're thinking is that we can train the public uh, through social media, uh, through smartphones and things like that, to see ultra brief uh, images and ultra brief training, uh, which can allow them to understand what they need to do. Really um, rapid, uninterrupted, firm chest compressions for an adult. For Global Medical News Network, this is Doug Brunt.